All right, man, we're sitting here with uh, Jared from Head PE. How's it going? Great, dude. What's going on? So you're getting ready for the show? Yeah. You got some new makeup going on uh, for different... Yeah, this makeup here, I since uh, all my all my uh, relatives are from Brazil, I went on Google Images and brought up some uh, Amazon Indians, and then I'm, now I'm copying from that. Cool. So you guys uh, currently on tour with ST. Uh, I know they took you out on your guys' first tour. How was it to get the call to come out again? Well, this is like the second version of my band, Head P.E., because we, we like broke up in 2002, and then uh, we got back to get, I, I brought the band back together in 2003 with a, a new lineup, so that's what this is. So it's kind of a double. Okay. So what's good about this is is it's like uh, the new version is, is, is much more like obviously influenced by uh, bands like Suicidal, so... It's really cool to be on tour with them. Yeah, I bet. I got you guys were excited to get that call. Hell yeah. Come back out. So you got your new, the new record, Truth Rising. Yeah. Uh, and uh, comes out next Tuesday, in fact. Yeah, October 26th, Truth Rising. And you can purchase that online, you guys' website and all that stuff, right? Yeah, Best Buy, FYE. Subnoise.com. Yeah. And stuff, you can get it off your record label. Yep. So tell us a little bit about that, that new album. Rising is like, it's got that heavy metal, hardcore punk foundation, and obviously we like to throw in some garage funk and hip, garage hip hop and kind of a thrash reggae sound on the album too, so we stay true to what we're known to do, you know, blend styles. So there's a, when you get to one of the new CDs, there's an exclusive bonus disc. What's that all about? Yeah, well, on the bonus disc, we got uh, Axe Murder Boys from Psychopathic and D-Gap and some remixes of some album tracks on there, too. So that's just a plus for people who pre-ordered the album, you know. That's cool. Kind of an added bonus. Was there a limited number of those available? I or? No, I think as long as you pre-order it, then you can get it. And you can also get that off the Subnoise store, I think, dot yeah, com. Yeah, yeah. Stuff like that, but... How's it going with Subnoise? Subnoise is a great place, a great home for us. Are you getting the, the promotion and shit you guys need and all that? From what I could see, it's just a beautiful thing, yeah. A lot of times, you know, you get bands that aren't really happy with their label or what's going on, so they kind of get put on the back burner. And, <laughs> you know, you know how it goes yeah, with different yeah, stuff. Yeah, for and, sure. I mean, and, uh, uh, we had a bad time at the major labels, but we, we were doing good on the indie labels, you know. That's good. And that, uh, is there an Indie Rebel package still available? Do you know anything about that? I don't know that what that is. There's some it's available on your website. Some kind of uh, <laughs> uh, backstage passes and meet and greets and VIP crap. And a lot of the well, bands are I offering out, that I stuff. I put out the offer where if kids, if kids buy the, uh, the pre-order and then wear the pre-order T-shirt to the show, then I will hook up with them. So it looks like you got the your website newworldorphans.com. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it's been newly uh, updated and stuff. It looks pretty cool. Who's responsible for that? Well, the webmaster at the label, she does a good job and she keeps it fresh all the time. We just did a, a video online video chat where the kids were typing, texting me messages, and I did, was on there for 90 minutes, just kind of giving my uh, my angle on the truth movement and whatnot. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. That was on the 14th of this month, and uh, there was a little bit of controversy about that. Did you uh, receive any slack of any kind from any of the stuff that you... I, I didn't listen personally, but for those that don't know, do you, you want to <laughs> talk about that at all? Or I thought it was very <laughs> respectful, actually. I thought uh, all the kids were really cool about it, but you know... People like to blow stuff up. Sometimes kids think they know everything, so... What was the big uh, to-do for those who didn't listen at the, at the particular video chat? What, what was the big deal? I didn't know there was one. Yeah, because they were talking about some comments that were made. and uh, I don't know, you know. I, I just there's, there's things on the internet known as trolls, which are people who just try to start shit for no apparent reason. <laughs> so, you know, we fall victim to that. That's right. Everybody does, you know, especially true, if you're in the, the business. The true soldiers are on there and having it. Uh, you know, in lighted discussions. So. 
So will you be doing more of those online uh, oh, chats? Definitely, yeah. So it went pretty positive then, for the most part. Yeah. Well, that's good. And uh, are you going to be filming any new videos for the Truth Rising uh, record? Or what's going on Hopefully so far with we that? Can, we can get another uh, DIY guys done pretty soon because kids are wanting that. That's our, that's our video, uh, you know, that's our DVD uh, thing that we did that's, you know, kind of uh, serialized. So we're trying to get to part two of that. So the tour has been going pretty good so far. How'd the San Francisco show go? Pretty raging, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, dude. We get a lot of love from these suicidal fans. Well, the Bay Area generally has some, just a little more, you know, than uh, certain cities, I'm sure you noticed. You know, you yeah. guys get more of a response up in that, that area? Well, here's the thing, like, if there's people there, we always get a good response. Sometimes it's just hard to let people know that you're going to be in town, you know. It's like it's not up to us, it's up to the promoter. Sometimes it seems like, I don't know what kind of a job they're doing getting the word out, you know. Just relying on their street team and the kids <laughs> to fucking know. deliver flyers and yeah, shit. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know how they do it. Yeah. So you've got uh, what's that, something on your website books that will change your life you know yeah what, what uh, about that at the Eckhart Tolle books the power of now and um, a new earth very important books to read for sure I think gods of Eden is a great book so you know I read a lot so it's a lot of kids uh, into my band that want to know what I'm reading that's why you yeah I noticed that you know not a lot of bands put uh, that that type of stuff on their website, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. So that's why I'm asking We're about We're very it. interactive. Like, this band is a lifestyle thing. It's very real, the topics and everything. So, you know, it's like a community. You get a lot of people uh, contacting you back, blogs and whatnot, about what they're reading and if they read books that you recommended and so forth? Yeah, all the time. That was cool. Works out good. What do you guys got planned after the tour? After this ST uh, tour? Well, uh, then we'll be off for December, but in January um, we're going to Japan and Australia. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Shit. You got oh, a lot yeah. of fans down there? Big big base? Yeah, the European? we do really good out there. We're a good club band. Well, that's good. Why well, now you're getting ready to get, get going, so... Uh, Thanks for taking the time out with ClosedCoffin.com in Las Vegas. So well, thank you, brother. You're the man. Appreciate I that. appreciate it. Get on a head PE Facebook because we are. Uh, I always, I run it myself. I took it over from the label, and um, you know, I, I um, always get on there and share my thoughts or whatever because I do a lot of studying about all the stuff that we're into. And buy the new record, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> all right. Thanks, dude. Talk thank to you later. Thank you, brother. Later.